Rebecca, tell yes. me more about Love Below. So, these two paintings, um, Legacy was a theme that the curators and I came up with, um, partly because of the venue that we're in, but also because it gave quite a lot of opportunities to kind of really delve deeply into what the artist and um, what people's work meant. And I think for me, my painting's always been about creating something that gives a kind of permanence to things that are quite ethereal. And I wanted to um, kind of use processes and things that I do when I'm painting to bring something a little bit more permanent but still have those kind of layers and things going. I predominantly paint um, landscapes but I love the kind of obsession that with a, hero with a horizon line, as soon as you kind of put a horizon line on something, people perceive landscape. And I then spend quite a lot of time kind of pulling back from that almost and kind of playing with that and abstracting it. So all my paintings are kind of start with the theme of landscape, but actually go down a, down a degree of, um, of moving away from it being a landscape and more towards something that's quite abstract and quite emotional and ethereal and has got a kind of element of that. And why did you use asymmetrical canvases. Is it because of the golden ratio? The, the golden ratio really intrigues me because it is that thing of actually I find myself using it really um, almost subliminally. I'll kind of draw a line, you know, use, use a line and then it really kind of marries up with what I'm doing. These were actually painted, it's, if you can imagine, these are actually split canvases because I really like that idea again of kind of abstracting the landscape, taking a canvas that was actually, that was actually the bottom half and then splitting it, so almost kind of you almost using geometry with what I was doing with very fluid lines to kind of pull that up onto the top and create something new with it. So it's probably the furthest away from a kind of landscape that you can that you can get that you can get in my work. And then with this one, I actually completely subversed it and thought, you know what, I'm gonna if I turn it sideways, it becomes something else again. It's kind of it's kind of moving away from the landscape even further. And I think ultimately what my painting is about is is the process of paint and what paint does when you kind of put it onto a canvas and it's a, or onto paper, you know, I'm, I use quite a lot of ink as well. And it's really, I mean, it's literally watching paint dry, I'll kind of put paint on and by seeing what it does and how it, how it works and how it kind of abstracts itself is, is something that really intrigues me. Um, and the legacy thing, you know, it's the whole, it's the whole, the, the process of painting is something that we all do not necessarily to leave something behind, but we are putting something of ourselves out there, aren't we? We're putting something of ourselves onto something that's got a permanence, I suppose. And, and uh, you know, we, we all paint for ourselves. Well, I certainly paint for myself, but the work being on display and having the opportunity to do something like this, I think, is, um, is really important. It's really important to me. Thanks. Woo!